Hi, everyone. I'm Al Brooks. Thank you so much for your attention. At the end of every day, I look at charts to try to get an idea about what to expect for tomorrow. And I do the same at the end of the week, the end of the month, and now at the end of the year. This is the New Year's Day weekend, and I made a series of charts to create videos to give my thoughts about what to expect for major markets in 2021. I made six different videos, E-mini, the bond market, the euro versus the dollar forex market, gold, crude oil, and Bitcoin. Now, I want to add a disclaimer up front. With every additional tick that we see, the outlook changes. I'm giving you my perspective as of right now, the start of 2021. I hope that you find the information useful. In this video, I want to talk about one of the most interesting markets currently, and that's Bitcoin. And this is my outlook for Bitcoin for the coming year. At the end of 2020, this is what the weekly chart looked like. Extremely strong bull trend. We had a good rally here, a better one here, and an even stronger one here. The bears hoped for a double top back here in early December, but instead of reversing down, we broke strongly to the upside. We're almost to a measured move up based upon the height of this initial top. If we get there, which I'm sure we will, there might be some profit taking. We may hesitate, pull back. We have three big bull bars here. We had five big bull bars here, and this is what followed. We had a huge reversal down. Is this going to be like this? And will we drop down and retrace almost the entire bull trend? I don't think so. What's different? Well, a lot of it is fundamental. You have a lot more institutional participation. And then additionally, this trend, I think, is stronger than that trend. Room to the measure move target, but it's a minor target because most computers will not realize it's there. I realize it's there. We try to top out here, and instead of reversing down or stalling, we accelerate it up. And that is a common situation that results in a measured move target and profit taking around that target. Also, we have some shrinking bodies. This body is bigger than this one. This one is bigger than that one. So there is some loss of momentum. And then you look at unusually big bull bars like that. They typically attract some profit taking exhaustion. So those factors increase the chances that will pause pull back, go sideways, maybe down a little bit, starting soon. There's no top yet, and this rally is so incredibly strong. Even if we were to come all the way down here, the best the bears would get would be a trading range. When you look at this, odds are we're going higher. We don't know the path. It could be straight up, or we could go sideways and then up, or we could go down and then up, but chances are we're going up. Huge bars means an extreme buy climax, and that typically attracts profit takers. If you're a bull, your stop is way down here, and you don't want to risk 60%, 70% of your investment. The easiest way to reduce risk is to take some profits, reduce your position size. So when you get an extremely strong rally, you tend to get some profit taking. The profit taking may initially be only a bar or two. If it is, It'll probably be a high one bull flag, a one or two bar pause, and then we'll go a little bit higher. But if we do have a one or two bar pause and we go higher, chances are the next leg up will only be a bar or two and we'll get more of a pullback. So the trend resumption will be brief. If we have a one or two bar pullback and then the bull trend resumes, it probably will be brief and then we'll probably get more of a pullback, more bars and maybe a couple legs sideways to down. This is an example of an accelerated buy climax. We tried to top out here, and then instead we accelerated upward, similar to what we have in Bitcoin. This is from my Brooks Encyclopedia. I have a collection of a couple thousand slides. I use them in my chat room 
to illustrate points. As strong as this was, it was a bull trap, and we had a big reversal down, a couple legs down here, one, two, and it grew into a bigger two-legged pattern, one pullback, two. I don't think we're going to retrace this much of the Bitcoin rally, but we might get down to the bottom of the buy climax. If the bears get a big bear bar closing on its low or near its low like this, bulls will exit and will probably get at least a small couple legs down. This is, again, Bitcoin. We tried to pause or top out here and instead accelerate it up, like in the example that I just showed. And will we reverse down all the way to here or here, like in that example? I don't think we'll go here, but it's possible over the next few months we, we may work back down here. This is so strongly up. I think initially, if we pull back, we might get five or ten bars sideways to down. I doubt that we're going to go straight down. When a bull trend looks like that, usually the first reversal is minor and all you get is a trading range. And even if we were to get a trading range, that trading range would need 20 or more bars before there would be close to a 50% chance that we would get a reversal down. Buy climax, no top yet, but probably will attract profit taking within the next few bars, next few weeks. Again, that's my take on Bitcoin for the coming year. Again, I'm Al Brooks. Thank you so much for your attention. I hope that you found some of this information useful. I want to wish you the best for the coming year as a trader. And I also want to wish you and your family a very wonderful 2021.